Um, you told CNN on Friday that perhaps it was the inexperience of the president. Essentially, that's what you said, that maybe he thought all of the meetings with the FBI director should be one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, is, that, is that an excuse uh, for him? I mean, is, is that just uh, an excuse, or do you think that that's really something that is, uh, makes, I don't want to say makes sense, but really could have happened? Let me go back to the first meeting that the FBI director had with President Trump. At that meeting, which had several people in it, the FBI director asked that everyone leave the room except for him True. And, and President and Trump. I'm running out of time, Senator, and, so I want to make sure I get this in I'm because sorry. that's a very important point that you make. Then the next meeting is in person, a dinner between the two which is something that takes lead time. Clearly, by this point in time, the president should have been aware that this was inappropriate. So how is it possible that this was just him being inexperienced uh, and taking cues from the first meeting if this is something that was set up with considerable advance from the White House? Because my theory is that the president thinks that that's how you interact with the FBI director, but someone should have stepped in. The FBI director should have stepped in, the deputy attorney general, the White House counsel's office to explain to the president. It's not an excuse. The president clearly does not fully understand or appreciate the boundaries, but he should. I'm not excusing his behavior, but I'm saying that there were a lot of people in government who should have set him straight. So maybe, and we don't know whether they tried to. Maybe a potential explanation, if not an excuse. Uh, we hear you on that.